y'all see the new guy? He is fine. And you know what makes it even better? He smelled good. I was like, ooh, what is his name? Dark Amber and Ood. <laughs> True be told, it's always something. Hey, friend. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Carisha from lifewithcarisha.org. And today we're talking about Dark Amber and Ood. I'm going to hop right into it. I'm not going to hold you all. Listen, I really like this candle, but unfortunately, there is a major con. 25 points on the line for each category, the notes. Dark golden amber, fresh rain water, and oud wood. I get all of those notes in this candle. I can smell all of those different things. The most prominent notes for me have been the amber and the oud wood. Here's the thing about me. I don't know if you all know. I have not always liked masculine candles until about maybe a year and a half ago. I got a hold of something. I think it was that mahogany teak with high intensity. Game changer. Now I am absolutely head over heels for candles that smell a little bit more masculine, which is what this is. So for the notes, I give them 25 points because I can smell all of the different notes in this candle. For the scent, I'm giving them 25 as well because I think it is a really good smelling candle. Now for me, it smells like a really good man, but it puts you in the mind of like a men's soap. Like what was it? It was a lever 2000. I think I have the name right. Um, or like a body wash. So not so much a man's cologne, which is more stronger, a little bit more overpowering. This one is more subtle. He the kind of man that chill in the cut, peep the scene. He ain't real loud like Mahogany Teakwood. He kind of laid back, you know, just kind of taking his time. Just a really light scent and it's very pleasant. And for me, the difference in this candle from the other masculine candles that I have is the fresh rainwater. That did it for me. That note alone gives this candle a fresh element. Kind of like more, a, a, just a tad bit of an aromatherapy vibe, which I really liked. Honestly, it makes it one of my favorite masculine candles, to be honest with you. Now, I'm going to rank the masculine candles. I got to find them all first, y'all. Looking for candles in my house be like a scavenger hunt. Where's Waldo in this mug? Because I don't know. So, so far on the 100-point scale, we got 50 points. That's good, right? Y'all already know that throw. That's where these candles be falling off is the throw. Y'all, I gave this candle 5 points out of 25 for the throw. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's about a 4.5, if that. If that, the only reason I still like it is because it smells good. And in my office where I am, where I work most of the day is where I light my candles and I can smell it because it's right in front of me. I, I can't help but smell it. So unfortunately, the throw on this bad boy is absolutely terrible. I'm gonna just be honest with you guys. I like to keep it real, keep it 100 on my reviews. The throw, I could smell it though. Some of these candles be in front of my face in the office and I can't even smell them bad boys. This one I can smell, but it's out of 25, I can only give it five because it's only doing on the 10 point scale, it's low. That's that's not good at all. Unfortunately for maintenance, I had to give them 15 out of 25 for the wicks because the wicks was absolutely terrible. The wicks was like a newborn baby learning to walk, falling all over the place. Um, been a while since I had a candle where the wicks was that funky. So unfortunately I'm deducting points for those wicks. So on my 100 point scale, they got 70 points. So I feel like that's, it's passing, it's barely passing, but they did pass. For my masculine candles, it's one of my favorites. This is why I have to do these categories because you see it doesn't throw, but I do like the smell. So there are different things that people like to rate, you know what I mean? So it's not all a loss. Would I buy it again? Am I keeping the candle? Absolutely, because I do like the smell and I can smell it. And I know that in a smaller room, it will do well. Would I buy it again? Probably not, because although I love the smell, I know that baby ain't going to throw. And for me, I just, there's other masculine candles, although I like this one a lot. There's other ones that I can smell just as good that smell absolutely phenomenal. Do I recommend it? That's a hard one. It doesn't throw, so I would hate for you to get it and waste your money. Um... But if you're going to do it in a smaller room and you're really into masculine candles, then it may be for you. But that bad boy ain't throwing at all. Um, 
So that's my review, Dark Amber and Oud. I was really looking forward to this one. This is kind of heartbreaking because it smells delicious. It really does. But unfortunately, 70 points. They passed, barely passed. Hey, they would have graduated. So, you know, it's not a total loss. But that is my review. What was your experience with this candle? Comment and let me know. All opinions welcome and I'll see you in the next one.